Luxury. We've been programmed. Told how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to feel. It's supposed to act. But we're done listening. Let's torch this tired act. Watch it burn. From the ashes comes freedom. Freedom from trends, from false influence, and empty symbols. At Gen Air, we answer only to progress. And now, we rise anew, awoken, defiant. Limitless. Jenner. Bound by nothing. Okay, so let's have a look at this commercial. It just shows so clearly the agenda that the social manipulators are trying to push. We open here on this car approaching this mansion down this road, you notice that this, there's snow everywhere and that the colors are very blunt. So this is showing the old way that needs to be gotten rid of. Look how old fashioned everything is. The, the colors are bland, black and white. They're downplaying this for this communist agenda. So this is really showing capitalism. This car pulling up to, this, to a mansion which is very ornate, and it's a, a capitalist scene, if you will. And so this is pushing against it. So as we draw up, you notice everything is old fashioned, as I said, and Look. you see that this is a high heel shoe, which represents the feminine power over the masculinity. So she gets out of the car, and straight away after that, we see the feminized male, straight after that symbolism riding on a bike, look, through this dimensional portal. So it's, it's revealing to you that this is a, also a dimensional thing. It's from the other side of the veil. This agenda is demonic. Behind him there, that is a dimensional gateway. And inside this mansion, she could even be the queen. You must have seen in this truth movement the amount of times that they have pointed against, they've exposed the elite that need to be overthrown in this revolution. Told and that's exactly what this is showing here. Told how it's supposed to look. You hear the narration is constantly reminding us of the old way of things, that this old way, this old society needs to be overthrown into this new world order it's supposed to feel we've been we've been programmed into this society that needs to be gotten rid of that needs to be overthrown and you, you notice again the colors they use these colors as a form of programming they're using bland black and white colors to represent the old system the old moral compass the old religion which is Christianity in the West. And you see, you constantly see this contrast between this elite party here in this house. And I'm telling you, the truth movement has been set up to expose the elite on purpose in order to generate a grassroots revolution. Supposed to act. So you see at this table, it, again, it's, it's talking about this old structure is so bland and boring. And the parallel of what this is representing is that last supper. It seems like it's, we've seen it before, this last supper, before the beast comes out of the pit, like an inversion of the last supper. 
And it seems to be kind of what they're representing here, this last moments of the old world order. And, and you see, then we draw in on this Antichrist Jezebel Luciferian figure, probably the mother goddess, the Jezebel. She's looking at herself in the, in the phone. She's about self-indulgence. But we're done listening. And then we get this breaking out of the pit. You notice in maybe like in the basement of this house that you start to get these weird, twisted, upside down figures. Remember the Sabbateans, their religion, their cult was all about turning everything upside down. And, and that's what we're seeing here is that the beginning of this Antichrist, Luciferian, New Age and red for a communist revolution. Look at the symbol on this, uh, you know, on her leg, she's got the eight pointed star, the Ishtar gate. It's about opening the gate with the Masonic floor, the birth of the false religion of Jezebel, of turning everything upside down, everything that we once knew. So you see this figure coming out of this basement with the eight pointed star, Let's um, you know, sexual, hyper sexualized, like the prostitutes of um, Artemis, the cult of Diana, prosti you know, over sexualizing women and masculinizing women, as opposed to what it was before, where you had like these older ladies, but they're portrayed as very undesirable. This whole, th this whole scene here, I mean, you can't deny that this is just in your face, trying to, to make you despise what you see here. But we're done listening. Let's torch this tired act. Let's torch this tired act. So we start this whole sequence of a revolution, and this is key, this is key to understand here, is why do you think that they are showing the crown being set alight into flames? Because this ties in to this grassroots revolution, and it ties in to the, what I've termed Operation Guy Fawkes. Now think back to Guy Fawkes and you know the fact he was a Jesuit and that he was trying to burn down the Houses of Parliament and it was at the time when King James was working on the King James Bible. So this is representing that burning down of Protestant, the Protestant West and the overthrowing of authority and how many times have we seen in the truth movement in the mainstream truth movement that they talk about bringing down the monarchy and, and bringing down authority so i really think that this is what this is showing here the, the destruction of protestant christian west watch it burn uh, watch it burn and the, the things he's saying look at these demonic figures coming out of the pit the 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 bottomless pit with the smoke in the background and these this fire is his teeth this is representing the other side of the veil coming through these you know th these gates and and through this chaos from the ashes look at that Freedom. From the ashes. From the ashes comes, comes freedom. freedom, he says. And we have these demonic figures dancing about in the with the smoke of the pit. So from the ashes of the old world comes the new world and this so you know false freedom, this false peace. And look at the colours. Look at the colours they're using to inspire your you know passion. Red, the colour of passion as opposed to what it was before when we had black and white and horrible, mundane, bland colours. And now we've got the pit opening and we've got these vibrant red colours coming out. So this is, this is trying to brainwash you into wanting this communist revolution and wanting this new age of the Antichrist and this uh, hypersexualization. Now look, now we, now we go to a shot of the sheep again in black and white. 
these sheep is so it basically is telling you that if you don't want to go along with this depravity that you are a sheep freedom from trends and that you all you want is the old bland program system which we've all we're all so bored with and so you know you're called a sheep because you don't want the antichrist lucifer and new age now of course the sheep is also representing christianity and the black and white color scheme is uh, attached to conservative so you can see that they are showing conservative christians the sheep the christians as bland and we need to get we need we need to move on from that freedom from so trust. overthrowing this old system and onto this from you know new age of just evil influence and we see here the cube and the machine as part of this new we're in the secret chambers you see you know we're in like dark grade rooms with smoke and empty symbol. and the the pearls of wisdom of the gnostic new age of antichrist of the enlightenment see the pearls also represent wisdom so but it's false it's false wisdom it's not true wisdom of the bible this is the false luciferian religion and Jezebel is behind it. Here's the cube. Answer only. Here's the look. The this is the smoke of the abyss and Pandora's box. And he's saying over it about progress. You know, to them this is progression. This is what the progressive narrative is pushing to open the doors of the bottomless pit. Here's the machine shot. Yeah, the cube rise and new to open Pandora's box, the wheel of fire, ring of fire. This is all to advertise an oven. And they're using the symbolism of the oven to show the opening of hell, hell's gates. Awoken. And so here we are, the golden age, the opening of the eye, the illumination, luminati. Defiant. Defined, pushing the boundary. Look at these hell, hellhounds. This is from the secret chambers and the underworld. The hellish scenes, guys. And coming through this overturning of the system. <sighs> wow. You know, we have, they've really, this is the, why well, it's so evil, this, you know, Gnostic religion, because it's so, it uses so many truths and just packs them into the Antichrist lie. And that's why we need to be so careful. Look at the symbolism on this lady of the, the sun, Babylon, the black sun, you know, the Babylonian religion, and she's covered in occult symbols. Limitless. Pushing the boundaries, pushing the limits. And that's what this is all about. The liberal ideology was all about pushing the boundaries. But we know that if we don't have boundaries, we don't have protection against the wolf. You know, the Bible, God himself loves us and gives us protection, gives us boundaries. The Bible says about the city with no walls. You know, it, and, and really what's coming here is the wolf. Uh, to, and if, you do, if you're not in the sheep pen, then you're going to get savaged. Because we can see here, right there, is the black sun. The black sun is uh, a void. It's like a narcissist, if you will. Uh, it, it, it sucks energy. It, it feeds on the sheep, just like the wolf. You know, what does the wolf represent? It feeds on the sheep. So this is what is coming here. This is a wolf. It's, it's telling you to drop all of your boundaries and it's advertising that the wolf is coming for the sheep, you know, and that is going to bring about this new age of Lucifer. Genere. And there's the machine, the opening Bound of the pit of hell, uh, with a J there, look, J with fire in it and smoke, like the anti-Jesus, the false Jesus, the Antichrist, bound by nothing. 
the opening of the pit. So I really hope you can see that they're, they're pushing for this false revolution to bring about the new world order. And they're using both the, the far left and the far right as the two pillars to bring that about. And it started with Donald Trump, Alex Jones, and other people who started to push this, um, domin it's like dominion theology, and you know, using that to generate chaos, to generate a clash in order to bring down nations from within and then make them yearn for the new world order so that all nations become one uh, under the Antichrist. And, and that's biblical prophecy. But we do know that after that, we do have a hope that Jesus is coming and, and that all of this is leading towards the millennial reign of Jesus Christ, who will reign in justice and in truth. So there is a hope beyond all of this. But this, guys, is a, a really clear picture to, that we need to be so careful about what they're pushing in this world. And that, you know, we're not on the side of any of the pillars we have our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ.